This is Jerry McDonald from the Bay Area News Group reporting from the Napa Valley Marriott Raiders training camp. 11th, 14 practices in the books. Raiders leave tomorrow for Arizona to face the Cardinals in their preseason opener. Here are your three observations from today's training camp. Number one, if you would hope that Jack Del Rio was going to give an idea of who was going to play and who was not, guess again. Uh, Jack said they're still discussing repetitions and who will play and who won't. Well, we haven't really settled on what we're going to do mm -hmm. with, uh, with the reps mm -hmm. across the way. We don't typically play the front line a great deal in the first game. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll, we'll see when we get there. Do you um, approach things any differently now that you're a team coming off of, of a 12-win season and now you're going into the season with real established guys as opposed to maybe when you're going in with a seven-win season that you might want to play guys and now maybe you'd set them? I don't, I don't know that the win total has a whole lot to do with anything. I think mm -hmm. having an understanding of your guys and what you know they're about, mm -hmm. um, where they are, with conditioning levels, where they are with um, any injuries they may be battling, um, you know, what your depth is, what battles you need to see, what competitions you need to clean up. That's that's all part of it, but you know we don't honestly don't sit there and say, oh, we you know we, we won enough games, we can just not not uh, rep our guys this year. Uh, that's that's really not part of the thinking at all. Um, I think it's a pretty safe bet to say that uh, Derek Carr, if he plays at all, would be just a few snaps and out. And if the same would go for Khalil Mack, who hasn't been practicing with an undisclosed injury, and Mari Cooper, who's now missed six days in a row. Um, Jack did say that he didn't expect to see much of Marshawn Lynch at all, Lynch at all this preseason, which, which seems the wise way to go. But that's the way that teams that win 12 games approach things, you know, they're, they're keeping their marquee players fresh and ready to go for September 10th. Observation number two, uh, today's surprise practice standout was wide receiver Keon Hatcher, who caught uh, one nice pass over the middle from Connor Cook and another grab against the defense of Breon Borders, who's been a playing solidly um, on a pass from E.J. Manuel in the end zone. Hatcher faces long odds, there's no doubt about it. I mean, the Raiders' receiving core is pretty much set with uh, actually K.J. Brandt and Jaden Mickens looking like the guys that are the, the closest to, uh, to breaking through after the top five. Observation number three, the battle for backup quarterback looks like it's still being won by E.J. Manuel. But let's you know, keep in mind that these are practices and not games, and Jack Del Rio made a point today to, to say that you know, how a quarterback throws the ball under a heavy rush, how he gets back up after being hit, something he doesn't want to see but something they need to see, you know, that, how Manuel and Connor Cook do in those situations will actually go a, count a lot more towards which one will play as the backup to Derek Carr than how they do on the practice field. As this camp has gone on, um, how excited are you for what's going on and how excited are you to get out there and play as a Raider? Yeah, I'm extremely excited. Um, day in and day out, just preparing before practice. You know, everything has been, been fun. Don't get me wrong, it's been tough. You know, we've had some days where we wish we had, you know, one or two throws back and things like that. But, you know, overall, I'm having a, a great time, you know, being in a great environment with, you know, guys who like to work hard, guys who know how to prepare. Uh, and I think our quarterback room, you know, we, we're meshing very well. So there's no, there's no reason not to have fun.